Hi all, welcome back to the channel. So today I came up with uh, one of the you know, um, POM creation um, plugin. So as uh, you know, whenever you are developing the Selenium web page scripts for complex web pages, it is very difficult to fasten the you no know, identification of uh, page objects. So how? Um, Oh, now we have some plugin called uh, selenium page object this is one of the chrome extension which is used to easily identify the page object models uh, for our uh, no, selenium scripts so now i'll show how we can use this uh, chrome extension okay first what we have to do is uh, we have to no, get that plugin into our chrome so just search uh, selenium page objects generator chrome extension in google and uh, this will list uh, you this chrome extension so just going to the uh, details so now this is a uh, plugin with selenium or page object uh, generator and just having thousand ten thousand plus users base so this is one of the widely used uh, no, no plugins for uh, uh, automatically getting the page object models uh, for our complex web pages. So it is uh, using a handlebars.js template for uh, no, creating these uh, uh, page objects. Oh, this plugin will give you the codes in two different uh, languages like Java, C Sharp and Proper Framework as you need. So this is the no, not top level view for this uh, plugin. So now I click add to Chrome. Oh, uh, um, this plugin whenever we are adding the extension, it will put up uh, a confirmation dialog asking whether you are really want to add this one. So just give add extension. So now the extension is uh, ready. Okay. Now we'll see how, how it works for uh, sample Facebook login screen. So just give Facebook login. So this is the Facebook login and having a lot of elements here. And now I'm uh, clicking on this uh, no Selenium um, uh, no, uh, Chrome extension. So it's a Titleist page object generator. It's the version latest is 1.3.1 and uh, we can set our target based on our requirement that is C sharp java and robot frameworks and uh, you can mention the page name as you need this is all like um, so without space we have to add our page name so um, uh, with this page name uh, this will create a class and it will give you for no, utility in the form of uh, a constructor so that you can directly integrate it to your script and start execution so destination page name is uh, no, optional and uh, it's providing options too in clicking options you will get uh, something like this where you can configure all of these um, all stuffs uh, as an input for your chrome extension if you need so by default it will take from handlebar as i shown earlier so this is the default um, no template uh, used to um, extract the page object model automatically from the uh, targeted web pages so now um, I will see how this will generate uh, code for us in page object models so ideally this will give you a constructor so just give them name and uh, once you provide the name you uh, click on the uh, no, generate button so it's generating now within a um, um, fraction of uh, time it created uh, you know the uh, no, um, a sample facebook uh, dot html page okay so just uh, save this uh, Facebook page. 
uh, so now it will be a, a saved in the form of no uh, dot java save done it's done so just show in the folder and now I'm updating in word plus plus so this is how it uh, looks like now so it is uh, created uh, the facebook of um constructor class and uh, oh it is uh, giving you the page object model for the uh, facebook login screen automatically and just you have to use it in our uh, no script so maximum thing it produced just for error handling cases you can go through this one and you can add if anything is amazing so this is all about how so this uh, no page object generator plugin thank you for watching this video please press subscribe for more videos regarding the selenium scripting thank you